In this Power BI video, I will show you a neat and effective way to highlight events on a chart timeline using DAX and conditional formatting. On top of that, in our example, we will analyze and visualize how events like COVID lockdown and promotions impact sales performance. Before we start building our report, let's go and have a look at the data model. I've got three tables, a dates table, sales data and the events. As you can see, the events table is a disconnected table, but the dates table is connected to the sales data using the date and the order date with a one to many relationship. Sales data table has data from 2020 January to July 2021. As you see, there are records for each day. There could be multiple records as we have order ID and product category for each date and the sales amount. This is the events table where we have the business events that impacted the sales during 2020 and 21. Each event has its started date and end date here. Let's look at the first record. Since the COVID lockdown, phase one started on 15 April and ended on 10 May. Now let's have a look at the report. I haven't done much on the report. Basically, I have added the line and stack column chart and inserted a measure. Sales amount is a simple measure that sums the sales column from the sales data. In the x-axis, I have inserted the date from the dates table. In a matrix, I have added the events data, events description, started and end date. So I have got some filters as well here for the year and the months and the product category. This card shows the sales amount measure over here. The first thing that we are going to do is to highlight these events in our chart, right? Remember, this is a disconnected table. So we should find a way to incorporate the events and highlight it in our chart. Now I need to create a measure to count the number of events that are related to each date in my chart. So let me go and create a new measure. I can name the measure as count of events. First I need to grab the date that is in the current filter context and assign it to a variable. Current date. Next, I'm going to iterate over the events table and find out if this date exists in any of the event. Then I can sum them up. This also can be assigned to a variable. I can use sumx function to do this. Sumx over events. I'm going to check if the current date exist within the date range to get the date range calendar function becomes very handy calendar function is not only useful for creating dates table but also you can use it in cases like this calendar it asks for two parameters start and end date in this case i'm going to provide the event start date and the event end date right this is going to return true or false i just need to convert this into a number either one or zero based on true or false for that i can use the int function i can return the results as event count the measure looks okay let's go and apply this measure and test it to test it i can turn this chart into a table and add the new measure i see zero as there is no event for these dates so if you look at the first covid lockdown that was on 15th of april to may 10th and again we have promotions right we have overlapping period in january 15 onwards we can uh, scroll down 
we see April 15 has one as there is one event found. Let's go down to January. From 15 January onwards, we have two events because there is an overlap here, right till 31st January. This way, we can validate our results. Now let me remove the count of events and switch the chart back to the original chart type. To apply the conditional formatting onto the sales amount in my chart, I can select the chart, go to data colors, conditional formatting. Let me keep color scale as the format by and pick the measure that we created, count of events as the base field. Then for the colors, for the minimum, I will choose gray. This will be the sales amount as it is, no events. And as the number of events goes up, I can change the color to a gradient. Let me pick blue over here and a dark blue. Yes, now you can clearly see the events that took place in the timeline. It's easy to find out there are two dips in the timeline. First lockdown and the second lockdown. And also there are some promotional activities towards the end. And the beginning of 2021 the dark blue color over here represents the overlapping period now to understand the real impact these events had on our sales we can create a measure to calculate the average sales for the selected period and compare it with the period where we have lockdowns and promotions now i need to create a new measure to calculate the average daily sales I can name it as average daily sales which will be average x over values of dates column and I already have a measure for the sales amount fine but I need to clear the filter on the selected dates which can be done using the all selected as a calculate modifier over dates I can replace this card visual measure with the average daily sales measure and change the data label display units to none 33,073 is the average daily sales as I have selected 2020 and 21. Let me select 2020 and 30,577. You can see the events highlighted for 2020. And let me select 2021. Yeah, it works. Let me clear the filter on the year column. I can see both the years now. Now that we have created the average sales, I need another measure to calculate the average sales based on the event start and end date. What is the average sales for the events? So let me create a new measure. I can name this measure as average daily event sales. First, I need to grab the start and end date of the event that's visible and I can also assign it to a variable start date max of event start date and uh, the second one will be the end date Event end date. With these dates, I should be able to now calculate the average sales. I can assign it to a variable. Let's say result, which will be calculate of the average sales that we have already calculated. Now I need to provide a new filter context for this. So the date period will be uh, the date range of start and end date of the event that is selected, right? So for this, again, we can make use of the calendar table, right? Calendar 
start date and end date since we don't have a relationship between the event table and the sales data table so we need to create a virtual relationship sort of uh, virtual i called because this exists only during the calculation of this measure so we can use treat as treat this date range as our date in the dates table right let me return the result variable return the results hit enter now I can go ahead and add this measure average daily sales and this is our average sales right now you can clearly see the sales amount that is related to this particular period is uh, the lowest 12,000 versus the selected period is 33,000 we had the promotion period the sales have gone up shown as 49,000 and 56,000 let me try with different date periods 2020 and 21 it will be nice to highlight only the events that are related to the selected period right I have selected 2021 but I see events of 2020 okay so let me go back to the measure that I created so here I am calculating the average daily sales but providing uh, a new filter context which is overwriting what's already there but what I want to do is basically I want to respect the date filters that have been applied so the solution is to include it within keep filters yeah I can see that since I have the average sales here it shows up but you don't see any numbers over here let me remove the average sales as we are not going to keep it over here right now you see 2020 this is for both the years and 2020 you see only those sales it would be nice to create a new measure to calculate the percentage variance between these two sales average selected period and the average event sales so let me go and create a new measure i'll call it average sales change percentage it's better to assign both the sales to a variable let's call it average sales it should be our measure average daily sales and uh, next variable will be average event sales average event sales and the third one will be the result this is where I'm going to calculate the change I'm going to divide the average first I need to find out the variance which will be the average event sales minus the average sales over the average sales but in case if you don't find an event I just need to make sure I put a condition here to check if not blank average event sales then go ahead and do the division yes okay okay there is an error somewhere here okay i have to return the result now i can go ahead and drop this new measure onto the matrix now we see the percentage impact from the events 62% sales down because of the first lockdown 
37% from the next and promotions have increased the sales <clears throat> so we can try different periods like 2020 now we see only 2020 and this is 2021 I can apply a conditional formatting to highlight this percentage variance we select the average sales change percentage and conditional formatting based on data bars positive value let me keep it yellow okay the line light gray yeah it's much prominent now with this we can conclude this video in my next video i am going to add a dynamic moving average and a dynamic tooltip to further enhance the report thank you